Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and this is another a day in life at work and every day I commute to work and I take the train going to downtown Chicago and that takes me about 40 minutes and while I'm in the train I just always play with my switch to kill the time because it's also fun for me I love playing video games and at the moment I'm playing Animal Crossing and Kirby and the Forgotten Land after getting off from my train I still have to walk around 15 minutes going to the office and that's what I do every day walking in this view of downtown Chicago and I like getting that exercise from walking and I really don't complain about that at all and then I arrive at work and start working after 9 a.m. And then the first thing that I do is to check my email and catch up and see if there's anything that's urgent and critical that needs to be addressed right away. And after that, I always check on my tickets, the existing ones that I have, if I can make any progress on them and close them and check on the new tickets that just came in on that day. Today at 11 a.m. we have our weekly meeting where we talk about this week's projects and tickets and any announcement that is gonna happen in a few weeks or a few months that are important and critical. Can't fix with uh, this time so uh, we'll, we'll do that next week. Our meeting ended around 12 noon, so it was lunch time by then. I just always eat at my desk because I pack and bring my own food and I usually just watch YouTube channels about personal finance when I'm eating lunch. And my lunch for today is sinigang and rice. Okay, so I am just gonna give you a quick lesson on networking. This is networking 101. So along with IT, there comes networking issues because most of our devices are connected to the network or the internet. So we have to keep all of our machines and devices online all of the time. And sometimes users are having issues that they don't have network connectivity or they can't access certain network resource and that's where networking comes in. Alright, so usually network devices are plugged in via the Ethernet cable and the Ethernet cable looks like this. If you see a cord like this, this with the RJ45 clipped into it. This is called an Ethernet cable and this is what we use to connect to a port and gives us internet connectivity or network connectivity. So for this, it is connected to a certain port that is assigned for our network. So this is what a network jack looks like here. This one, this is where you plug in a network or ethernet cable. So right now I'm working on an issue with a user who doesn't have internet connectivity or can access the network and his um, computer is offline. So I am suspecting that he is not on the correct VLAN on his uh, port. That's why we are gonna check what VLAN he's on and change it to the correct VLAN. So if you are not familiar with what a VLAN is, I'm really not going to explain it deeply but the VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network and that is kind of like a partitioned network and administrators use it to isolate and limit the network access that a certain group has. So for example, an accounting department might have a different VLAN than 
the HR department because they access different network resources. So that's how you can limit and can categorize different network access and resources with the different teams or groups. There are different VLANs that are used in a company. There's voice VLANs just for the phone. So sometimes if the port was assigned that VLAN, it might not have connection to the domain or uh, internet connectivity. So you might have to switch it over to a data VLAN. Okay, so it might be really hard for me to explain all of the concepts about networking and VLANs right now, but I'm just gonna show you how I usually troubleshoot and resolve VLAN issues. So the first step is to identify what VLAN the port is on, if it's having network connectivity issues, and what we really need is the switch IP address and the port number so we can change the VLAN after. And thank God that we have tools that we can use to make our life easier and at work we use this link sprinter so this device identifies the switch ip for you and the vlan you would need to change the configuration of a port so i turn this device on and plug in the Ethernet cable in here so this has a network jack so this fits the cable and I will just connect with this device with my phone and it will show me the information but what if you don't have this tool at work because this is kind of pricey and not all companies have this so don't worry I have a free tool that I know that I always use whenever we don't have this or this doesn't work so this is a software called LDWIN it is free but it's only for Windows so if you have a Windows laptop you can use that laptop to download the software and use it if you don't have the link printer so as an alternative what you need is a laptop and then a port an ethernet port if you don't have one you can use an adapter just like this what's important is you can plug in the ethernet cable on this port okay so the software looks like this so as you can see you can just choose what connection or which port it was plugged into and then if you click on get link data it's gonna show you the switch name the port number the vlan the switch ip address which are very important and what we need so what we need the information that we need would be the port identifier and the switch ip address to putty into the switch and change the port vlan so I will be able to now use Cisco commands and configure the port into the correct VLAN and that would resolve the issue most of the time. If you want to learn some Cisco switch commands, you can leave a comment down below and I'm going to make another video explaining what the commands are and giving you some tips on some Cisco switching and network switching in general. Okay, so the rest of my day is just spent on working on issues, closing tickets, just resolving all the tickets and issues that comes in that day, and also researching on how to resolve issues is a big part of our jobs in IT because sometimes we encounter new problems that we have never seen before so we have to research on that and I get off at work after 5 p.m. and that's what my schedule is like every day and this has been a day in my life at work thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next videos